folks, you know what time it is. It's time for a random rush. It's when I listen to Rush Limbaugh for 60 seconds and reply to him in 90. It is now 1.13 p.m. on the East Coast. Let's go right in. Here we go. Just comes from a different source. In the past, it was provided by the employer, us, Congress. Now, it's provided by the same subsidies that are given to other Americans that are eligible for subsidies to buy from the exchanges. The problem with this is the following. There are lots of people who are going to lose their health insurance at work. And they're going to go into these exchanges. And they're only going to get a subsidy if their income is low enough. If their income is too high, like say the income of a member of the Senate of the United States of America, they won't get a subsidy. But employees of Congress, including the members themselves, will get a subsidy. That is completely indefensible. It shows how phony both parties are on this. Aside from the issue of the best way to fight Obamacare, how can the Democrats get up there and try to tell the people of the United States that Ob- All right. Well, Limbaugh's out today. I think that's Mark Belling. He is talking about this hot GOP on GOP action where David Vitter wanted to uh, curtail the subsidies for his staffers and for lawmakers. Now, Belling's got it right in terms of um, uh, these lawmakers. They make upwards of 175000 I think senators make a little more. If you make that and you enter into the subsidies uh, to the exchanges, you will not get a subsidy. But the vast majority of staffers, if they have families, are getting the same subsidies that anybody else would. This is such a small, tiny issue. We are talking about thousands of dollars. Not for each individual lawmaker. I'm talking as a whole. This is so petty and so stupid that it only warrants the 90 seconds that I have allotted to talk about it now. But I'm sure that Mark Belling is telling the uh, Limbaugh audience, talking about this for hours. Because this is an outrage. It has nothing to do with anything. And did you know that the Affordable Care Act was over 100 pages long? There were hundreds of pages in that uh, law. Just focus on the most inane childlike parts of anything and then you too perhaps could fill in for Rush Limbaugh I didn't even need 90 seconds for that when you first put it on I swore I thought we tuned in as there was an infomercial playing Yeah, he I sounds he was like about he's selling you like a slap chop or something like that or garlic <laughs> <laughs> odorless garlic supplement <laughs> 